Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about reclassifying expenses, but not really reclassifying. I want to talk to you about what to do if the accounts have already been reconciled and you need to reclassify things. Let me find an example of an account that's reconciled. I'm going to go to the gear in the upper right hand corner. I'm going to go to reconcile on the right hand side under tools. I can see that my super fun bank account, it's been reconciled through January. So I'll just go ahead and go to the bank register. When I look at this list, I can see that I have transactions. I can see my transactions are reconciled. I just want to show you what happens when you edit a reconciled transaction. I'm going to start by editing the first one. This transaction doesn't have a payee. It's all make believe. So there really isn't a payee, but we'll pretend that the payee is staples. I'm going to select staples. Right now it's assigned to office supplies. Let's imagine that it was actually computer equipment or computer expense. I'm just going to change it from office supplies to computer and internet expense. I'm going to choose save and close. This message pops up and it says the transaction you're editing has been reconciled. Saving your transactions could put you out of balance the next time you try to reconcile. I wanted to make this video just to let you know this, it says could put you out of balance. That means if you're editing something about the dollars, then the dollars could be wrong. Well, I didn't change the dollars. QuickBooks isn't smart enough to know that I didn't change the dollars. So it gives me this kind of scary pop up. I'm just going to click yes. Double check my transaction date. That's fine. It's all demo stuff here. So let me go to reconcile in the upper right hand corner. And you can see that my starting balance is just the same as it was before I started. My changing the payee name and the account name didn't mess up anything for the bank rec. The purpose of this video wasn't to show you how to change data, but rather to reassure you that if you do change reconciled data, it's totally fine. As long as you're not changing the number, you do not need to unreconcile and re-reconcile to change stuff such as the payee name or the account on the chart of accounts or the memo or attach receipts, any of that good stuff. If there's anything my team or I can do to help, please don't hesitate to reach out. I offer one-on-one -on -one training with me. I have courses I've developed for purchase. And then my team and I also offer bookkeeping. Thank you so much and have a great day.